We've been tracking for the last few days was a major hurricane just a few days ago. This is Hurricane Lee. It's now weakened quite a bit. Winds are down towards 105 miles per hour. Now, as we go over the next few days, it is expected to strengthen once again. That category three does make it a major hurricane. And before it makes that northerly turn, it is expected to once again become a category four. Now, this is what we've been watching for the past few days, waiting for this track to be able to turn towards north away from our area. So it is expected to gradually move from the northeast or northwest up towards the north as we go towards midweek towards about Thursday of the work week. So it is expected to weaken. You can see this cone of uncertainty though winds down towards about 90 miles per hour as it makes that turn towards the north. So you can see from Savannah all the way towards the center of the storm well away from our area. Still keeping a close eye on that, but this is what we've been watching. All the models now coming to an agreement. It will move off towards the north, not impacting the U.S. So again, that's by about Wednesday or Thursday, so we'll keep a close eye on that. But for now, we are in the clear. Second storm we've been watching well off from the United States is Tropical Storm Margo with the 5 a.m. update. Winds up to 50 miles per hour. It is expected to strengthen. Now it's not interacting with any land, so that will allow it to uh, strengthen towards a Category 1 hurricane. Notice it's not interacting with any land. This is also what we call a fish storm. And winds will peak at about 85 miles per hour. So we are in the clear from any tropical activity for the moment, but Hurricane Lee was definitely a stronger one staying off the United States. Locally here, a few showers and storms earlier this morning starting to dry out. We're still seeing some storms off towards Augusta by about mid morning. We'll stay dry and then showers and storms return by the afternoon. So this is future cast notice by about noon today. We start to see some clouds build in. Now this is mainly notice east of I-95 inland areas are still mainly dry. Then by about 2 to 3 p.m up towards 4. This is 4 p.m. in the afternoon. There's that 40% chance for some rain. These are scattered downpours across the area, but notice the trend with these, mainly hugging I-95. Maybe some sprinkles towards the coast. Inland areas, I'd say about a 10 to 20% chance for some rain. That begins to clear out as we head throughout the mid uh, afternoon, and then a few showers expected inland by about 8 p.m. So for future cast for today, temperatures still sitting in the mid to upper 80s. This is near average for this time of the year. Again, a 40% chance of rain in Hardyville, Buford, 87 degrees, Pooler at 88, Statesboro, 87. You could see a shower mainly after about 5 to 6, and then Darien at 86 degrees as well. So we're back near average, similar for our islands as well. That water temperature is slowly coming down. We're at 83 degrees. That's still warm, though. 30% chance of rain towards the coast. That puts St. Simons at 86 degrees. Tybee, you're at 85. Hilton Head to Fusky at 86. And Hunting Island also at 85. So warm for today. Heading out towards the beaches. Just keep an eye on the radar. So there's still a chance for one or two storms by the afternoon. So here's a look at your 10 day forecast. 40% chance of rain for today. Notice we are back at average for that high. Isolated showers and storms in the forecast for Monday and Tuesday. Now that does allow us to gradually begin to warm up. Another chance for some rain on Wednesday, and then we slowly start to dry out. A weak front moves in heading towards Friday. That drops us towards 83 degrees. Check out those lows heading towards the low 60s and then gradually warming back up by the next 10 days on Tuesday. Sunday, 30% uh, chance of rain as well. This is for our coastal areas in the upper 80s as we head over the next few days. Drying out by Friday. It looks like next weekend, nice and dry. Plenty